guys, so for today's video, I wanted to tell you a couple things that you guys can do to get glowing skin in the morning. Uh, because we all want beautiful skin, and sometimes it's easier for some of us than others of us. Um, but I know that everyone has individual needs too, such as wrinkles or acne or whatever. Um, but I wanted to give you just some kind of basic, generic things that you can do for a radiant glow every single day. Um, and the first one actually starts with what you do the night before, and that would be remove your makeup completely. Um, there are so many people out there who do not remove their makeup completely and that could be a cause of acne for a lot of people. That could be a cause of wrinkles or all these other bad things. Um, removing your makeup is absolutely essential and don't just take one wipe and be like, oh, oh I'm done. You're not done. You need to continue removing, whether it's a gel that you use, whether it's a, like a cleanser. You need to keep going until these little pads come back clean and these are ones from Neutrogena. These are makeup remover, cleansing towelettes, hydrating. You guys can get these just like at the drugstore or something. Um, you need to wipe and you need to remove your makeup until everything comes back clean. And even if you don't use makeup wipes, wash your face until like a tissue paper comes clean because if it still has product on there, that means your makeup is not completely removed. Um, if you sleep with your makeup on overnight, not only can it cause breakouts, but it also makes your skin look a lot more dull and just kind of lackluster and not shine or anything like that. Um, when you remove your makeup completely, your skin is able to breathe, it's able to get oxygen, it's able to do its exfoliation and renew and everything like that, um, and just look 150 times better. So make sure that you are removing your makeup absolutely, positively, completely, um, and if you're not, then start because that's the first step to getting gorgeous skin in the morning. Second step is to use a really good exfoliator and you guys know that I like to exfoliate in the night instead of the morning because if you exfoliate first thing you wake up the Sun hits your face throughout the day it can cause wrinkles and damage and things like that now if you exfoliate at night you're sleeping for the next eight hours that your skin is repairing so you're not only getting the benefits of it but you're not getting the Sun damage again I can't pronounce this this is the um, ultra fine physiological scrub um, ultra fine scrub with the thermal spring water it gently smooths and purifies and it's for sensitive skin now this one is great for acne because it does have glycolic acid but glycolic acid on its own is, is a glycolic acid who knows it um, glycolic acid on its own is an amazing exfoliator so even if you have wrinkles or aged skin that needs a little bit of plumping up this can definitely help so talk to your doctor but um even if you have pigmentation or dark spots, glycolic acid has been shown to lighten those. But do not use this during the day because then the sun will hit and your skin will be open and it won't be good and it could even cause more pigmentation. So be careful with um, glycolic acid and things like that and talk to your doctor. Maybe they have recommendations, but I love this one. It is great for acne and great for other skincare conditions as well. Um, but when you exfoliate at night, that is removing that layer of dead skin. It is getting your skin ready to be renewed. So when you do that overnight, your skin heals mostly when you're sleeping that's the time that your skin is ready to repair itself so when you use this at night all night long your skin is, has been just exfoliated it's creating that new skin that's gonna be gorgeous and beautiful so this is definitely a must to waking up and looking amazing something else you should also do before you go to bed is a really deep moisturizer now this is even better to do after the exfoliation um, reason why the exfoliation will get rid of that little layer of dead skin and then this will penetrate deeper if I just put this on my skin right now it'd be on my skin it would help whatever cool but if I exfoliated and then put this on my skin Skin, it will penetrate that much more this is when hope is not enough from philosophy um, this is like one of the thickest moisturizers I know of now if you have a night cream definitely do that instead of a thick moisturizer a night cream would be the best the reason why is because night creams are formulated to be super moisturizing um, but the more moisture you have at night the better your skin is gonna look in the morning because overnight like I said our skin repairs it's sucking everything in and absorbing everything um, so since this is so super moisturizing it'll absorb all that moisture and you'll wake up with a glowing amazing complexion those are just three things you can do before you go to bed but there are also things that you should make to your there are also changes you should make to like your weekly or your your monthly routine to get glowing skin and the first one is actually to use face masks um, this is not my favorite face mask this is just one that I like and what I like about it is that it's cruelty free no parabens no photochemicals um, and it's 98% natural 
This is the Yes to Tomatoes for Clear Skin. So this is an acne product, but they also have like Yes to Blueberries for aging skin and Yes to Cucumbers. I think it's for like dry skin or something, but they have things for your skin and it's inexpensive. Um, there are better masks from high-end stores, but I know that a lot of people don't want to spend that much money on a freaky deacon face product. Um, so this is a good one that I would recommend, but you should be doing masks maybe once or twice a week. And the reason why is because masks can really help with the luminosity of your skin. Um, when we use a cleanser or something in the shower, it's on our face for maybe a minute, maximum five minutes, and then we wash it off, right? That's what a cleanser is. Now, when we leave a mask on, it's on for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. That means whatever is in our mask is going into our skin. So first off, that's a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing. It could be a bad thing if your mask is full of nasty chemicals. But if your mask is natural, if it has good chemicals and good stuff in there, it's going to be amazing for your skin. So this is one that I would recommend. Um, also, Amazonian clay is great for healing. It's great for plumping up your skin. Um, anything with those vitamins and minerals and kind of natural ingredients like this will really help. Um, and the very last tip is a lifestyle change, and it is to add more fruits, more veggies, and more water to your diet. Um, the more water you drink, the better your skin is going to be. It's going to be hydrated. Fruits and veggies are full of antioxidants. Um, first off, they're full of fiber. So technically, they could kind of help push toxins through and increase your metabolism a bunch, um, which makes you healthier and makes your skin glow. Uh, but also, fruits and veggies are full of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that your body needs. And when your body needs those, I mean, you are what you eat. You eat those things, those vitamins and minerals will kind of like show off through your skin basically um, and make your skin's texture and radiance just so much more bright. Um, I've heard a lot of people like to juice, which is taking vegetables and fruits and juicing them. That's definitely great to get a luminous skin, but they're full of sugar and you're missing all the fiber that way. So don't go and juice a bunch of vegetables. Eat them raw or eat them with something else, even if they're cooked, because then you're going to get most of the fiber. If they're cooked, you're not going to get as much fiber usually. Uh, but if you eat them raw, you're going to get the fiber and you're going to get the nutrition and the vitamins. And if you eat them cooked, you're still going to get some nutrition and vitamins and more fiber than you would if you were just juicing them. Um, but those are my tips for a beautiful, luminous skin in the morning. I hope you guys liked this. If you have a routine that's similar to this or you do something differently, um, I'd love to hear what's in your little morning skincare routine for pretty going skin with you wake up. Um, but I love you guys so much. I hope this helped you, and I'll talk to you all soon. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.